What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview tutorial of the global app on Shopify to add products options. So you can add uh, unlimited options, variants to products and so much more. So here I'm on my Shopify store. As you can see, I've created a new dummy store just to show you the way. And what you need to do is to go here to apps, click on add app from the menu on the left and scroll down a bit, click on Shopify app store. And in the search here, you just need to type in global, hit enter. And here it is, the global product options and variant. They have a free plan available and it's highly rated. It's also built for Shopify, so you know you are going to get a real good app here to uh, do exactly what it's supposed to do. Now click on it. Click on install. And then in the pop-up here, that opens up. Click on install once again, and the app will be installed. And you'll be redirected directly to the app's dashboard. And here you have some of the options that you can do. Create option set, integrate a theme here, or customize the widget. Now, before we dive into the settings and try the app itself, let's go ahead and create a sample product. So go to products here, and I'll just add a new product. And here I'll just uh, choose a hoodie or type in hoodie and in the media here upload just a random image of a hoodie. Okay, I know I have one here. Okay, here it is the uh, hoodie image. Okay, open it. It's just a basic black hoodie. And here uh, the pricing, let's add a price pretty quickly, 300 compare with price 350. Okay, and here I can add variants. So you can add variants in the product uh, page. However, they are uh, limited. So you can add color variants, size, fabric, age group, building features, neckline, neckline, target gender, and top length type. You can create custom options. However, using an app like Global is much more easy. So here, let's save. And now the product is created. Now let's go back here to the apps and then click on global product option to open up the app dashboard once again. And let's create an option set here. And here you can add element or select template and I have a quick preview here at the, on the right. So let's add an element. I can add a single input here, a text, uh, text area number. So you have much more control over the variants that you can add compared to the product uh, default variants a static text like heading, divider, spacing, and so on. So let's add here a, a single input text. And as you can see here, it appears on the product page. And if I click on the text here, I can have the all these settings. So this is like the label. It says text. For example, uh, if I want to collect more info about the customer who is buying this product, I can uh, just, for example, um, say mobile number. Let's say for some random reason, I want to collect their mobile number. And uh, if this is a required field, as you can see, a red icon here appears, which indicates this is a required field. Now I can hide the advanced options or show them. Okay, the minimum characters, the maximum characters, default value, placeholder, help text, and so much more. Now uh, let's add, or let's go back here, and let's add another element, in this case, a number. And if I click on number, I can rename it, for example, a uh, number of items. Okay. And um, this is if this is a required field. Now, this field is only for numbers. I can remove this element if I want to. So let's go back to the elements and let's add another element. For example, a choice list, a drop down or radio button, check box, a button, color swatch, image swatch and so on. So let's add a color swatch. If I click on color swatch, I can add colors here. So this is a uh, good way for your customers to choose the colors of the product from the color swatch. Let's say here, for example, white. And let's add another option value. Let's choose a red color. Okay, or you can even choose two colors if you want to. So if I'll just select these two colors. And this is like mix. And I can edit help text. I can add additional prices for these variants, but this is only for the paid plan. Let's add another value. Let's name it bright 
red or bright green. Okay, let's uh, get the green. Save. And now we've added three color selections here. I can bulk add values here if I want. However, I won't do this right now. And this is also a required field. And I can expand the uh, advanced options here. I can hide the label, expand, collapse the option values. If I want to here, I can expand them and collapse them. I can, the initial state is expand or collapse. And the scroll type here, I can set it as well. Now let's go back here and let's view the products. So uh, the select products, I can manually enable this option for certain products. Okay, uh, if I search here, I only have one product. So I can allow these options for a certain product or all products. Okay, let's go back to the uh, elements right here. And let's add another element here. This time, for example, let's add a selection. So if I click here on the selection, so the option one, for example, is a uh, large. Okay, add another option, X large. So this label is for the size. I can set it as a drop down menu. As you can see, I have much more control over the product variance compared to the original one or the default one that is baked into the product page. And I can set it as a required field as well. And I have here the advanced options. And I can show the advanced options as well right here. Um, so as you can see here, I can edit the product page as I want to add more variants and more types of variants instead of having them all as one type. And let's go ahead and add one final element. So um, let's add a paragraph element. And this element is just a paragraph that I can enter. Let's say, uh, make sure to select the right size for you. Okay. And I can edit the style, add link and so much more. So if I can link, for example, to a photo that has the size chart for the uh, product that I have. Okay, let's go back. And once I'm happy with all the uh, designs that or settings or changes that I created, simply save here and okay, I need to select a product. So let's select manual product or select all products. Okay, save. And now my variants are added. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can add and customize your different variants for your products on Shopify using the global product option app. And personally, I do recommend using the app. I do highly recommend using the app since it gives you the freedom of designing all the variance options for your product page as you wish. As we saw here in this video, we designed lots of variants in many different ways to spice up the looks and feel of your uh, product page.